on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so back again with another jeepers creepers video uh trying to gonna, gonna try to upload more uh, these past couple of weeks i've just been uploading sporadically because of the new job and everything but i'll try to upload as much as i can uh going forward but getting into today's topic of this video this is in regards to again with the the, the original script jeepers creepers cathedral uh, I'm going to kind of just summarize how the creeper escaped from the Taggart's barn and kind of just go over that whole sequence that was uh, or the whole scene that could have been if we actually got the film that we are still 15 something years later actually still waiting for despite us still getting Jeepers Creepers 3 we're still actually waiting for a certain type of Jeepers Creepers film we've been waiting for this film since 2003 and hopefully we get it one day uh but essentially how the creeper ends up escaping the taggart's barn uh there's a scene in towards the early beginnings of the film because the film uh not exactly but it picks up right where the second film left off after after the bar fight uh there's a few other scenes regarding uh trisha and her, her and her son Derry, named after uh her brother but then we jump into the taggart's uh we go into the taggart's farm area uh we see jack jr walking from the farmhouse to the barn he um he opens the barn doors and jack taggart senior he is still in that barn uh apparently we find out that he actually sleeps in there at night he sleeps in there at night in his wheelchair next to the uh post puncher or whatever it's called the harpoon that he crafted to take out the creeper he sleeps in the barn next to that and the dog sleeps right next to him to keep him company but yeah this is how obsessed he is with the creeper he still he he doesn't even sleep in the farmhouse he sleeps in the barn with the post puncher still aimed at the creeper all while the the same sign is up in front of it hanging over it bat out of hell uh the creeper's lifeless corpse is just sitting there uh but taggart is just sitting there ready to go in case it does it does wake up he has the harpoon ready uh he sleeps in the barn but jack taggart jr he opens the door and what happens is uh he startles his father and of course the father and the son they kind of have like a back and forth over uh receiving money from trish trish has been sending this this duo of money uh trish is apparently a very wealthy woman woman now and she wants to uh there's something that's going on something with the taggarts and several other locals that jack jr has gathered or been in been in discussion with uh they're all going to gather at the farm to kind of see the demise of the creeper some type of sacred ritual that was supposed to be some type of sacred uh gathering that was going to involve a priest uh it was going to be there it was going to be a gathering to put an end to the creeper once and for all uh trish has been involved she's been funding whatever it is that they were trying to actually do uh, i believe if we would have saw it on screen i would have had a better idea or better understanding of what it is they were actually funding uh but the issue comes because uh jack senior is not wanting to accept this money from trish uh he doesn't feel like they should be making any money off of the thing that uh killed his killed his uh killed jack jr's brother which is kind of an odd response from him because he's that's exactly what he's doing if i'm recalling correctly he's charging five dollars or so someone's charging five dollars unless that was jack jr's idea as well to charge five dollars uh to, so maybe jack senior is 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 right in what he's saying maybe jack jr has always been the one that's been wanting to make money off of this uh thing that hangs in the barn uh but anyway what ends up happening is jack jr leaves the barn after they have a little brief argument he goes into the house and the next thing he knows the glass glass shatters in the kitchen uh there's a big thud he falls back he goes out to the barn because the dog is barking like crazy uh jack senior is claiming that he saw the creeper move the harpoon was shot at it uh all we see is just the still the harpoon is shot at the creeper and the the corpse is still lifeless so we don't know what jack senior is talking about he swears he saw it move what ends up happening is they move closer towards the creeper come to find out that there's nothing even inside of this corpse it's it's lifeless they cut a knife through it nothing but dust comes out uh there's no remnants of there's nothing there that would entail that would let you believe that something was ever residing in this corpse it's, it's as if this thing escaped a very long time ago or if not just recently uh unbeknownst to jack taggart he at some point had to have shedded his skin 
and he escapes. So now we're finding out that this is probably how the creeper always comes back uh, ready to go every 23 years. He just sheds his skin and he has his wings back. He's in some new return form. Now, why exactly he did not take out Taggart, uh, I do not know. Maybe because Taggart is not scared of him. There's nothing for him to really... Uh, nothing for him to really take from him but at the same time the creeper is all about all about uh defending himself and taggart is a threat so i would have imagined the creeper would have still taken out taggart maybe he wasn't at his strongest um or maybe he did actually just escape right when taggart shot the harpoon somehow or some way he got out of that barn without taggart seeing him uh the corpse that was there with the bat out of hell sign hanging above it there's nothing in it it's nothing but dust. It's like the creeper has shedded his old body and he's, he's now just out in the open and the taggers question where he is or where it is rather. That's how the creeper escaped the taggers barn. I, I personally think it's a pretty cool scene or it would have been a cool scene. I'm not really a big fan of us not really seeing how it got out. It just kind of shedded its skin and now we're back in the fold of things because they didn't. I don't think Victor could come up with anything really clever there. Uh, but it kind of gives you breadcrumbs of what's to come because you then in the later portion of the script you find out what the creeper is and it kind of just makes it, it makes a little bit sense but let me know what you guys think about the creepers escape from the taggers barn if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video